Hi everyone. In this short demo, we would like to show how you can use Veritas Net Backup SaaS protection to recover from a ransomware attack. As indicated, Veritas Net Backup SaaS protection is Veritas solution for backup and recovery of Microsoft 365 workloads and other content from other SaaS platforms. When it comes to Microsoft 365, we can protect your OneDrive for business data, exchange data, SharePoint, as well as Teams data. What we're seeing here is a OneDrive location for a specific user. And within that OneDrive location, we have created a subfolder called Important Docs. In this folder, we have placed a handful of files that are created. Uh, they are Word documents and PowerPoint documents. And if I open any one of these, we will see that these are legitimate files. So we have word documents with specific content and they are an important content to us all these documents are backed up on a regular schedule using veritas net backup SaaS protection we use connector for onedrive for business and we're performing backup of this data so at this point we have backed up this location and we're backing this up on a regular schedule as we're backing up this data all these data backups are stored in Veritas NSP backend on Azure Blob Storage. Now, in the second part of this demo, we're going to simulate a ransomware attack. So we have a view of the same folder. We have our files, Word and PowerPoint. But now as we open any one of these documents, we would be able to see that there has been a change. So we have this image here simulating that the data has been changed. It has been altered. The file has been encrypted and this file is no longer used to us. We are being held at the ransom point asking for uh, money in order to get the key back. If I go back to any one of these documents, I will see that this uh, change has affected any one of my documents. And I can see the file has been encrypted with the same image. And if I even go to one of my PowerPoint documents, I should be able to see a similar image saying that this data has now been encrypted. So this has happened. And we now have to go back to our backups and as we said we have veritas net backup SaaS protection that is performing backup and recovery of our data veritas net backup SaaS protection once you logged in you can perform different things with the data but imp important thing to know is that as you're backing up the data the data is stored in a read-only format so that means that once the backups are written to the NSP backend, you cannot overwrite those backups. So you cannot have a ransomware extent over to the backups and overwriting the existing backups. If the data at the production site has been changed and now the Veritas NSP is looking at that data as a new and changed data, that data will be stored as an additional version. So the way Veritas Net Backup SaaS Protection works, it's uh, writing the data over to Azure Blob Storage in a read-only versioning format. If we log into the admin portal, one of the tiles that we have here is the content browser. So as an administrator, I can browse through all my backups and I can see the structure here where I have this demo environment deployed in a single region. I have multiple storage accounts and I can go to the storage account where I perform all my OneDrive and SharePoint backups. I can see a lot of connectors, which is the software application that we use to capture the content and as they're writing over to this storage account. One of those connectors is my OneDrive connector. And as I expand, I can see the scope of this connector. I can see all the OneDrive locations that are being backed up. And one of those locations is my Anton OneDrive location, which is the one that we have here. So this is Anton important document folder and that particular location is captured by this connector. So as an administrator, I can expand and I can browse through the OneDrive location site collection structure. I can go into the documents folder and I can find all the items that have been backed up. So I can filter to find what I'm looking for and here is my important docs folder. I can see all the items that I've backed up and if I expand further I can see that every item may have multiple versions. So we can see that each one of these five documents have been backed up 
on a regular basis and we have a version that is from a day plus ago and then we have a version from the last backup so obviously the version from the last backup may be the one that is compromised where the data is encrypted but Veritas net backup SAS protection maintain these versions so you can go back in time and restore previous versions of these documents and now we're going to show you how you can do that through a single click so at this point we've established that these documents have been encrypted and they're no good to us so what we can do is we can go back to Veritas net backup SAS protection we can go into the content browser we can browse through the structure of all these backups and we can find the location in the folder that we are uh, <clears throat> that is of interest so at this folder we can select all the items all the five items that we would like to restore and we are going to click the restore button the restore is opening a new window where we have to configure our restore job. So this is going to be a SharePoint OneDrive type of restore. It's going to use our SharePoint administrative connection that we have created previously. This is the SMTP address of someone who we want to notify about this job. And then the target restore location. So most of the Restores are going to go to the original location, so we have that site collection URL pre-populated. And then we can browse to find the folder where we would like to restore these documents. So if I browse and open the documents folder, I can expand. And I can decide to restore this into the original important documents, or maybe I can decide to restore to an alternative folder. Let's go to the important documents and click select. So now that we've selected our location, there is a couple of other settings that we may need to check. So I don't want to restore all versions because some of my versions may be compromised. I want to perform a point in time restore to be able to restore those versions before the ransomware attack occurred. So I have, I'm going to select this force override because I want to overwrite the data in the production environment and I want to perform a point in time restore. Point in time restore allows me to go back in time to a particular date on the calendar and restore the versions of the backups that I have up to that point. So in this case, I'm going to go back to a day before and I'm going to click restore. So what is going to happen is this is a restore job that is now being queued and based on the configurations in the restore job, we would be able to see how the data will be restored to the state that was from a day ago. So if I go back to my location where I have the important documents, we should be able to see how the documents are being replaced. So we can see that the modified has now changed to a Sunday. Before that, we had modified like 15 minutes ago. This means that the data has now been restored to the version that was from two days ago, which was Sunday. And if I open any one of these documents, I can see that this is now the clean document that I had before the uh, ransomware attack occurred. So what we've done is we basically went back in time before the ransomware attack occurred and decided to restore the versions of the data before that event and we have restored to the original location overwriting the bad data and we also have an option to restore to maybe other folder or we even have a capability to restore to an alternative environment because Veritas Net Backup SAS Protection supports a different environment so we have that capability to choose whether we were going to go, want to go back to the original location or we want to go to an alternative location. Thank you.